Hi, everybody. Welcome again to IV English. I'm Bruce, and I'm Wesley. Hey, wait a minute. Some something's missing here.、Mm-hmm. Uh, a noise. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is missing here. Okay. Angela cannot be with us、uh, today, and、uh, she wishes everyone well. And she's told me,、uh, even though the audience won't understand us,、uh, when she gets back, maybe she can help answer some of your questions. Uh huh. In the meantime. May fifth, we have our double short article lesson for the month of May, and the first one is Palau bans toxic sunscreen. 好，我们的中文标题是首开先例，博流于二零二零年实施防晒乳禁令。Usually, when we translate into Chinese, it's shorter than the English. Yeah, well, this is not actually a translation. It's just a、oh. Chinese title. Oh,、yeah. I see.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let me read through it as we always do on this program. Just this paragraph, and remember, there's another paragraph or entirely different article coming up. So let's deal with first things first. On January first, twenty twenty, Palau, an archipelago in the Western Pacific. Became the first country to ban sunscreens that contain chemicals which are toxic to coral reefs and ocean wildlife. Sun creams and lotions that contain ten particular chemicals, including oxybenzone and various parabens, will no longer be sold in the country. Tourists arriving in the country with prohibited sun creams. May have them confiscated at the airport. Only reef-safe sunscreens will be permitted. The banned ingredients are known environmental pollutants, which leave coral susceptible to bleaching, and impact the development of marine species. On the legislation taking effect, President Tommy Remengesau said, "We have to live and respect the environment." Because the environment is the nest of life. Nice phrase there.、Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's go back and、uh, redo the article. This time, sentence by sentence. On January first, twenty twenty, Palau, an archipelago in the Western Pacific, became the first country to ban sunscreens that contain chemicals which are toxic to coral reefs and ocean wildlife. So this. First sentence、uh, sets the stage for what we are going to talk about. We are in the Western Pacific, Taiwan, Japan, the Philippines. We are all in the Western Pacific Ocean, which is the largest geographic feature on our planet by far. And Palau is one of the smallest countries in the <laughs> world, but it is an archipelago, which means a group of islands. Usually separated some distance from other islands around them, but not always. For example, the Philippines is an archipelago. So、mm. is Indonesia,、mm. which is the world's largest archipelago in area and number of islands. Now, Palau is nowhere near that big, and yet it is an independent country. It also became the first country to ban, to prohibit. To forbid sunscreens, Th- these are lotions that we put on our skin in order to protect us from the UV light, the ultraviolet light of the sun. And these sunscreens, all of them, contain chemicals, but not all these chemicals are harmful. On the other hand, some are toxic; they're poisonous to not to people, but to Coral reefs and ocean wildlife. Now, actually, coral is wildlife too. It's an animal that surrounds itself with sand and hardens it. And when we look at coral, we think it's either rocks or possibly a kind of plant. In fact, coral is an animal. Ooh. 所以珊瑚礁那个珊瑚呢，其实是一动物哈、啊。那它是一种这个，它不是植物，它是动物。它只是会会把自己那个自己包在沙里面，然后让那个沙变硬。好，那我们再回来看看这个句子啊。这个一开始他说在
二零二零年的一月一号，那这个呃，博流，那博流怎么样呢？他用一个同位格，用一个 dash 带出一个同位格，告诉你，它是一个 archipelago， 就是一个群岛。那刚刚 Bruce 老师有解释，其实像菲律宾啊，像印尼都是群岛，而且印尼是世界上最大的一个群岛啊。但是博流这个群岛呢，小很多啊。那它是在这个西太平洋的一个群岛国家。那博流怎么样？它变成了 the first country to 如何如何。那因为里面常常讲说 the first 什么样 to do something， 就做这个事情是第一人第一个。那它是第一个国家 the first country to ban ban 就是 forbid 或者 prohibit。好 ，forbid 就是 f o r b i d， 那 prohibit 就 p r o h i b i t 啊，这些都是禁止的意思。它是第一个国家来禁止 sunscreens， 就是防晒乳。那这个它禁止的防晒乳是什么样？是 that 要修饰一下，它不是所有的防晒乳都禁止，它禁止是那种 contain 有包含 chemicals 一些化学物质，呃，而且这些化学物质是 which are toxic to。啊 ，toxic 就是 poisonous， 就是有毒的。啊 ，p o i s o n o u s poisonous。好，所以对于这个什么东西有毒的化学物品呢？它包含了一些对于啊 coral reefs 就是珊瑚礁有毒的啊这个化学物品。还有呢，对于 ocean 就是海洋的 wildlife。Wildlife 就是这个 wild animals collectively 啊，就是泛指野生的生物。所以他们禁止那种含有对。珊瑚礁与海洋生物有毒或者有害的化学物质的这种防晒乳啊，他们已经开始禁用了。Now we know, you all know that ocean is a, a huge body of water. Here it's it's usually a noun, but here it's used as an adjective. We have another word that is used only as an adjective with the same meaning: marine. M a r i n e. M A R I N E marine， 嗯哼，那 marine 也是指海洋的，但是它只是用来，它只能当做形容词来用。好，所以你也可以说 marine wildlife， 对，也是可以的。嗯哼 ，OK， next sentence， sun creams and lotions， and remember I said that、uh, a sunscreen is、uh, a kind of lotion， it can also be called a cream that contain ten particular chemicals。These、uh, lotions or or creams that we put on our skins, of course, they contain chemicals、um, for people that are not supposed to be toxic.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, of course, if they were, then they would no longer be sold after a very short period of time. Well, these chemicals include oxybenzone. Don't ask me what that means. And various parabens. Ditto. <laughs> will no longer be sold in the country. So, if you have any of these sunscreens or sun creams, if you look at the bottle or the plastic container, if it says oxybenzone or parabens,、uh, you cannot take it into the country of Palau, and you won't be able to buy them any longer. Will no longer. Uh, it's the same thing as not any longer, no more. Hmm. Good. So, 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 so 他们如果含有十种特定的化学物质，包括什么呢？这个 oxybenzone， 这个叫二苯甲酮啊。那其实我也不太知道这是什么东西啊。我知道这个化学物质啊，或者是它含有 various， 就是各种呃，就不同的。那 paraben 啊，这个叫做这个对羟基本甲酸酯啊。那这个也是，<笑>我也不知道那是什么东西啊。不过呢，这个是常见的化学性的防晒成分。它能够挡住这个 U V B 跟这个 U V A 二啊，那可能会引起类似湿疹的过敏反应啊，或者是光过敏啊，所以这两样这个化学物，如果含有这两样东西的呢啊 ，will no longer be sold 啊，就是它含有这十种特定化学物质的这个防晒油呢 ，will no longer 不再 be sold 被贩卖啊 ，in the country 就是这国家不会再卖含有这十种化这个有害化学物质的防晒乳。Tourists arriving in the country with prohibited sun creams 
may have them confiscated at the airport. While most people don't know what chemicals are in their sunscreens or sun creams or lotions,、uh, so you don't really have to look. However, when you go through customs in、uh, Palau after arriving there, you may find that the customs agents will look very carefully at the sun creams if they find any with oxybenzone, parabens, and a list of. Eight more of these particular chemicals, they can confiscate them. We also use the verb seize, s e i z e, s e i z e. Now it doesn't say here that you're in trouble, but you simply will not be able to take them into Palau. Hmm. Ah, so here it's not saying that you'll be arrested or what. It's just saying you'll be seized. 那我们看到这地方 tourists， 那后面一个 arriving in the country with 什么什么，这个都是用来修饰这个 tourists。所以你这些观光客，你如果到了这个国家，可是 with 你带着这些 prohibited， 这些被禁止的这些防晒乳的人呢 ，may have them 啊，可能啊 have 这个加个受词，然后再加 confiscate 呃 confiscated， 表示你可能会这些东西会被没收的意思啊。那 confiscated。注意这个字的重音在前面啊！这个字其实我记得非常清楚，这个、要谢谢 Bruce 老师，因为我我记得我以前跟他讲 confiscated， 他马上纠正我说是 confiscated， 啊，那我记到现在啊，所以这个其实非常重要。那我只是呃，顺便提醒各位就，就如果你讲英文，别人纠正你的发音啊，你千万不要记恨在心，你要谢谢那个人。嗯，那因为你永远你从你因为你印象很深，就说哦，原来那个字是念 confiscated， 啊，那你就永远不会忘记了啊。所以当时我没有跟 Bruce 老师单挑哈、啊，我听到我马上说谢谢啊，赶快记起来，<笑>记到现在已经很多年了，可能。可能可能十几年有了，那至少十几年了啊，所以记得这个重音在前面，很多人都把重音放到后面去了，那不对啊，所以可能会被没收。那 at the airport， 在机场就会被没收了。Only reef safe sunscreens will be permitted. So if your sunscreen cream or lotion does not have these ten particular chemicals, you are free to enter the country. You will be permitted to enter the country. 嗯哼，好，只有那种 reef safe 就是。对 reef 很安全的，就是不会危害这些珊瑚礁的这种防晒乳 will be permitted， 可以被允许进入这个国家。The banned ingredients are known environmental pollutants, which leave coral susceptible to bleaching and impact the development of marine species. So the prohibited or banned ingredients, those ten chemical ingredients, they are known. Here it means we. We can prove that they are environmental pollutants. As you can guess, a pollutant is any one kind of pollution. These we are discussing leave coral susceptible to bleaching. After they enter the water around coral, coral is more likely to bleach. Bleach here refers to a natural process when the coral dies; it turns white. And、uh, as though you were bleaching something with household bleach,、uh, say clothing. If you drop clothing onto your blue jeans, <laughs> where、mm. the bleach lands will become white. Well, you can imagine if the coral dies, it, the reef will have a great impact the, and a bad one. The impact of the bleach will develop.、Uh, sorry, impact the development means here really to. Uh, either stop or very greatly slow down or damage the building of the reef and marine species. Here's that marine we talked about:、uh, the the ocean wildlife, not only coral but fish and shrimp and crabs and so on, will also be negatively impacted. 好，所以我们可以看到这些 the banned 这些被禁止的 ingredients 就是成分。Are known. They are all known. Just in here, just in here, is identified. Just we have already confirmed that they are environmental pollutants. Is environmental pollutants. Ah, will pollute the environment. 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 Ah, will pollute the 呃，容易受到什么的影响呢？容易受到这个白化 （bleaching） 就是白化啊，那个化就是那个变化的化 
那其实这个珊瑚如果白化，就是 whitened， 它们变白了，其实就是表示它们死掉了啊。所以等等于说这些东西会让珊瑚啊很容易白化，然后呢，它会冲击到 the the development， 就是 the gradual growth， 这个发展或者成长 of marine species， 海洋物种的成长，所以他们对海洋是有很大的这个伤害的。On the legislation taking effect, President Tommy Remengesau said. We have to live and respect the environment because the environment is the nest of life. Beautiful words. Now, on the legislation taking effect, we could also say when the legislation took effect. So、mm. this "on" has the same usage as "upon" or "when," used as、um, uh, gee, it's as、mm-hmm. as a preposition. Well, here's the president of Palau saying we have to live and respect the environment. Uh, respect the environment. We cannot treat it casually. We have to be careful with it and treat it well because the environment is the nest of life. I love that phrase.、Mm. Uh, they say life on Earth started in the oceans. If、mm-hmm. that's true,、uh, that's where life began. The nest is where life begins and then spread onto the land.、Mm. 好，所以这个 on 啊 ，on the legislation， 这个 on 就是 when 的意思，也就是当这个立法 taking effect 它生效的时候啊。如果是 on 的话，后面就是 taking effect； 如果是 when 的话，你就是 when the legislation took effect。那他总统啊，就是伯莱的总统说呢，我们必须要 live， 然后呢 ，and respect， 我们要尊重 the environment， 因为呢 ，the environment 是生命的窝啊，生命的栖身之处或生命的这个。渊源等等的哈 ，the nest of life， 这个可以有很多的翻译，但是它基本的意思各位抓住就好了。All right, let's take a look at our second short article: depression and suicide linked to pollution. 我们的中文标题是空气污染恐怕导致忧郁症还有自杀。Okay, listen as I read through this short article. A study published at the end of 2019 showed a correlation between air pollution. With higher rates of depression and suicide, the researchers, headed by Isabel Braithwaite at University College London, analyzed data from dozens of studies, some of which tracked pollution levels, and others which recorded rates of depression and suicide. In the 16 countries they looked at, they found that people living in areas where PM 2.5 pollution was double. World Health Organization recommended levels were 10 percent more likely to develop depression than people in less polluted places. Risk of suicide was found to increase by 2 percent after even short-term exposure to high PM10 pollution levels. The research article suggests that cutting pollution levels to EU standards could prevent millions from becoming depressed. Okay, let's go back. Take a look at our first sentence. A study published at the end of 2019 showed a correlation between air pollution with higher rates of depression and suicide. So someone is looking at dirty air, air pollution, and they found that when one thing occurs, another thing occurs. But we must be careful. This is not necessarily a cause. Two things may occur at the same time. Without any causal relation, so we have to be careful. And what they correlated was the dirty air with higher rates of depression. People who are so sad that they can't function, they can't do much, and suicide, which of course is killing oneself. Hmm. Ah, so there was a study published at the end of 2019. Ah, is is 2019. 年底所出版的一个研究呢 ，showed 显示 a correlation correlation 就是互动的关系啊，就彼此之间有关联啊。哪两个东西有关联呢？第一个是 air pollution 呃、啊，空气污染；另外一个是 higher rates 啊，就发生率比较高的 depression 忧郁症，还有 suicide 自杀的发生率。所以他们发现这个空气污染跟忧郁症跟自杀的这个比率或发生率有正有连结的关系。The researchers, headed by Isabel Braithwaite at University College London, analyzed data from dozens of studies, some of which tracked pollution levels, and others which recorded rates of depression and suicide. So now we know who who done it. 
who were the researchers, where did they study, in, it doesn't matter. When you analyze data, you study it and you try to interpret it. Mm-hmm. Now, they looked at dozens of studies. This is called a meta-study, M-E-T-A, and then study, one word. A meta-study is a study of studies mm. uh, which should make your uh, conclusion stronger but still not necessarily uh, causal. And what they did, uh, they tracked. They, they looked for pollution levels along with uh, finding recorded rates, official rates. Uh, ratios of depression and suicide. 嗯，好，所以呢，这个这些研究员呢，他有啊，这个讲讲这个人，这位科学家所领导的研究员，他们 analyzed， 他们分析 data 数据啊，来自于 dozens of studies， 数数十个研究的数据。那 some of which 就他他们所研究的数据，有一些是怎么样啊？他们 tracked 是追踪 pollution levels， 他们追踪这个污染的程度。然后呢 ，others。就是他们所研究的数据里面有一些啊是追踪，另外一些呢，它是 recorded， 它记录 rates of depression and suicide， 他们记录这个忧郁症跟自杀的发生率。In the 16 countries they looked at, they found that people living in areas where PM 2.5 pollution was double World Health Organization recommended levels. Were ten percent more likely to develop depression than people in less polluted places. So this is the result of this team's analysis of the relationship between a certain kind of pollution, PM two point five, and the likelihood of someone developing depression、uh, compared to people who live in cleaner air places. Hmm. 好，所以呢。在这个呃十六个国家啊 ，in the sixteen countries they looked at， 他们所看的十六个国家里面呢，他们发现到人们住在一些地区啊 ，where 啊 ，living in areas where where 就是在这些地区呢，他们 PM PM 二点五的这个污染呢，是世卫组织 recommended 所推荐的那个 level 的两倍，也就是他们污染非常严重，住在这种 PM 二点五污染非常严重啊，这个。呃，浓度高于世卫组织推荐的，比它多一倍。这样的这个地方的人呢，他们是 were ten percent more likely to， 就是他更可能，他的可能性多了百分之十。会干嘛呢 ？To develop， 就是会得到 depression， 会得到这个忧郁症啊。Develop 在这里就得到某种病的意思。那跟谁比会多百分之十呢？跟 people in less polluted areas， 在比较没有那么污染的地方的人啊相比，这个差很多。Risk of suicide was found to increase by two percent after even short-term exposure to high PM10 pollution levels. So we first looked at depression. Now we're looking at suicide. There was a very small increase, actually two percent. And notice PM2.5. That refers to the size of a kind of pollution that is in the air. PM10 is four times larger. But still can cause health problems. 嗯，好，所以 risk of suicide 就自杀的风险啊，被发现会怎么样 ？Increase 会增加百分之二啊 ，increase by two percent。好，即使在短期的啊 short term exposure 暴露于高 PM 十污染的地区啊，就算短期暴露在这种高污染啊 PM 十污染的地区，你自杀率还是会增高。好，而且增高百分之二。那这个 PM 十啊，它的粒子大小比 PM 二点五当然是大，这个大很多，但是一样是有害。The research article suggests that cutting pollution levels to EU standards. Here, cutting means reducing, having cleaner air according to EU,、uh, the European Union standards, could prevent millions from becoming depressed、uh, in countries that are just now developing, and there's a lot of air pollution. Uh, the the research suggests that there will be more depressed people and more suicides until they clean up their air. So, this research uh, the article, uh, the research article, he says, he recommends, he says, cutting, to reduce pollution levels, reduce the pollution level, uh, to 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 reduce the pollution level. From, 让他们不至于 become depressed， 让他们不至于变得忧郁。Okay, that's it for today's program.、Uh, you're in luck.
Wesley and I will be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>